like I think the model for Alex in Half-Life 2 was maybe 10,000 or 20,000 polygon count triangles or whatever I think is what they go by. I could be wrong. Uh, I probably am. But 10,000 or 20,000 is a lot. Uh, I think the CT model for Counter-Strike Source has um, 7,000. Like, I'm thinking of the, um, the U.S. Marine uh, Army or whatever it is. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm just going to change the inputs inside of the channel box. So make sure it completely covers this. Um, basically, if you have too many faces, you will have less performance with the model. Typically, you want them as low as you can while still making, look, look, making it look good. So why did I just add the this cube here? Well, I will show you. Um, first, though, make sure you got the cube selected and not the sword. Hold Control and hit D. What this will do is this will duplicate the object. Um, without doing anything else, you should still have the new one selected. I'll go over... Uh, there are certain rules on duplicating that you should look up. Uh, I might go over them later, but not right now. Just to keep this shorter. Select your sword. Uh, hold Shift and select the sword, sorry. So you have, you have your original selected, and you can see that by the white lines around it. Shift-click the sword. What we want to do is go to Mesh. It'll probably be something like Polygons or Edit Polygons for earlier versions. Go to Booleans. Go to Difference. I did it wrong. Okay, that's okay. Undo that. Um, actually, I want to select the sword first and then the cube. And I hope this works too. And do Difference. Now what that did is it took the two objects and it said, I don't want the area where these two objects intersect. So if I move this right now, you'll see that that area is now gone, which is a good thing. Um, you could probably do more work with it, but I'm just going to leave it sort of like that and just add well, uh, I'll get to it in a sec. Okay, so what you have now is you have this, your cube you have left over. You could probably change this right now. In fact, I want to test right now. Okay, good. You could use a scale or the inputs. This is the duplicated one. When you duplicate, you do not have your inputs anymore. So be very, very careful when you duplicate an object. When you do copy, uh, control C, and then control V to paste, it's a little different. Usually I just use control D to duplicate. Uh, you'll probably mess up with it the first time you use it, though, if you try to copy, especially between files. I'm not 100% sure on all of it, but that's for another time. Okay, so you got your sword, um, but there's a problem. And you'll notice that you have this, and I want to move it around, but the hilt does not move with it. I'm just calling it the hilt because I can. So what you do is you just select them both. You can select with the movement tool, by the way. Just don't move it. You don't want to move it. Okay, go to Edit Mesh. I think it's Edit Mesh. Um, could be Merge, but I don't think it's Merge. Ah, here it is. It's under Mesh. It's Combine. It might be different for um, earlier versions of Maya. Just mess around with it. It might be Combine. It might be Merge. But what? Before you do that, though, I just want to show this as an example. Go to Window. Go to this thing that says Outliner. This gives you basically everything that comes up in your current.
current file that you're working on. Make sure, or I mean, you can click here and see show, and it'll show certain things. I just do show all. Um, maybe not the textures and stuff, but for this, I'm just going to go with it. You'll notice that while I have these selected, I have PCube 2 and Polysurface 2 selected. The cube is the hilt. The Polysurface is the other thing. You can name these, but don't do it yet. What I wanted to show you here is that you have two objects right now, and I showed you that also. But look what happens when you do combine. These two have been uh, sort of like in the history, sort of. For It's basically grouped together, and it says, oh, this is the transform. And now what you're left with is a single object, polysurface 3. When you move this around, it's one object. Why do you need to do that? Because if you try to export just this, or what we had before, you would probably only export one part or neither. It has to be one object. And this can get really frustrating later when you do very complex modeling. And uh, when you have to deal with UV textures, when you combine using this method, you may have to redo the, your UV texturing, which uh, is another topic for another, well, I suppose that's probably what we're going to do next. But, all right. This tutorial is a little long. I'm going to save. And next up, I'm going to texture this and then um, export it to Counter-Strike Source.